Now I'm going to install the cylinder heads, make sure the faces and everything, the mating faces are wiped clean, no dirt, nothing in there that's going to fall inside of the cylinder or make the mating surfaces not mate well. I have four bolts sitting in the valley, the tappet valley, so that I can put a couple bolts in temporarily. Just to hold it so it doesn't drop. Push it down on the dowel pins. Again, I will put two temporary bolts in just to hold them in place. Okay, as I said in a first video, all of your bolt holes in your block and your bolts, studs, whatever you use, all need to be chased with a tap and a die to clean them up so that you get proper torque. Now, on the head, you need to use, on a small block Chevy, a PTFE Tef Teflon style uh, high temperature thread sealant. Uh, Permatex makes one that works really well. Uh, the reason you need that is because most of the bolt holes in the head go through into the coolant system. And doesn't happen all the time, but if you don't do it and you don't use this, it's a non-hardening type of thread compound. It's good, really good. It works for a pipe. Being a steam fitter, that's what I like to use and whenever you did any kind of stainless steel which had galling issues, you always use Teflon. So you put that on these threads of the bolt before you install each one of the bolts so that you don't have an issue with leakage of coolant into the oil side of the system. So for each one of these bolts you need to do this. So I'm going to go through now and do all of this and get them all done and then I will come back. Now you got to watch as you're pulling this down so that everything is going in square and straight and everything's down on your dowel pin. Going to get noisy now because I'm going to use an air ratchet to uh, get my first torque on this all the way down to your 3 8 air ratchet normally is about 30 foot pounds. So I'm going to just bring it down to the point where it is uh, snug, maybe a little over snug, and that's as far as I'm going to go. Then I'll go with the torque wrench. <laughs> but I'm going to do it close to being in sequence of torquing, basically from the inside to the outside, I'm going to work it. So now, I will torque this cylinder head in its place. The torque on this is 70 foot-pounds. I have my manual, which you can see is dirty on the edges and dirty from fingerprints from being used over the years. I have my manual right here with my torque sequence right in front of me. 
so I know what sequence to go in. I have a uh, reducer on here, an adapter, so that I can use my half inch torque wrench on my 3 8 socket deep well. I like that because it's a six point socket. I like to use six point sockets as compared to using 12 point sockets. They just uh, don't tear up the heads of your bolts quite so much. And I realize this extension adds a little bit, throws my torque off a little bit. I just, uh, I'm not that concerned about it. So we are ready. I'm going to take it up again in approximately three increments and then go around a last time. So right now my torque wrench is set for uh, 30 foot-pounds. Well, I screwed up my torque sequence already. I gotta stop looking at this big block one on the top side here. <laughs> I need something to put over the big block one so I don't look at that. Okay, I'm at number five, which is right here. And six is over here. Seven is down here, which I already torqued. Eight is down here. Nine is here. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now we'll increase it from 30 to 60. We'll go around again, starting with one. She clicks a little louder now. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And now we'll take it up to seventy five, which is my final torque. believe it was 75. Let's go back and verify that. Can't remember now if it was 70 or 75. It is 70. So we will take it down to 70. Going back to 1.
And then I will go back around again and verify. Okay, and that's all there is to torquing the heads on. Now I will come back tomorrow and uh, go back through this sequence again on this head, give it a chance to set overnight, and that'll give it a retorque tomorrow, which will give me a verification on that everything's good after it has set overnight. Basically do exactly the same thing on the opposite head, and uh, that'll get you through.